Hey guys, welcome back. Kyle Dittman here, Bullion RV, Duluth, Minnesota. And today we got a brand new layout for you from Forest River. It's the 18 CBW. Uh, it's on a single axle. It's a little bigger camper on a single axle. So if you guys are looking for something like that, this is the one for you. So like always, we'll get you on the outside. We'll get you inside and we'll see what you think. So we're going to start right up front. Like I said, it's a brand new layout. So a couple different features uh, going in and out. So we'll start there. Uh, looks like there's kind of new running lights on the side. Nice little circle ones. Those are going to be LED in there. The T9 chassis that this unit's built on. Um, everything's going to be cranked down. So crank down stabilizers, uh, crank in the front. You can always upgrade to a power tongue jack if you wanted to. One 20 pound LP tank on here that we do fill at Bullion RV. That's part of the deal. We also include a 27 deep cycle marine gray battery throwing that in a battery box right behind there as well. So new uh, front cap, you got your rock guard on the bottom. Nice white front cap. Again, those LED lights are gonna be up top on there for you. Uh, a lot of the new stuff is moving to the tankless hot water heaters. So uh, with a 20 pound LP tank. So if you have gas, you're gonna have the uh, tankless hot water heater. Fresh water, city water connections all in one location here. This camper is coming in at about 4,500 pounds dry weight, so half ton totable totally. Uh, maybe some of those bigger SUVs will be able to take care of this as well. So that's gonna be really nice. One big slide box on here. So again, when we get inside, we don't wanna ruin it too early, but when we get inside, you'll see what's in that slide. The windows are gonna have that mirrored kind of look to them. Um, so kind of like that two-way uh, mirror where you can see out, but it's a little difficult to see in. Help with the sun, kind of privacy. That's gonna be really cool for you guys. Storage from the outside. This does go under the bed, so you can access some storage from outside here. Uh, I like how they've moved magnets, so no more of those little plastic clips. So having the magnet hold it up gonna be really nice, convenient, Never, no more breaking those clips if somebody pulls on this thing anymore. Or they're not gonna like rot out or anything like that over the years of time, breaking the spring, so that's kinda cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice convenient light right out back here for you, right by your power and your dump stations. So if you get to the campsite later at night or you know, taking off early in the morning, having a nice convenient light back here for you. <coughs> Excuse me. You got the Lippert ladder prep. So that's gonna be new to these guys as well. So you're gonna have an extendable ladder, hooks up there, get up to the roof, check all your uh, seals and all that stuff. Brush off the slide box if need be. Look at this mean looking spare tire. So they give you a full size spare that's gonna match the other tires. So if anything were to happen, you're not limping down the road with the spare tire. You got the full size spare that can go on the other side. Really like that outdoor shower for you hot and cold water and a black tank flush oh i guess while we're up top too this does come with a backup camera on board already so it's got a qr code turns your cell phone into your monitor so having that on board if you want to use it that's gonna be really nice on the camp side here you got yourself yourself a nice little mini fridge so keeping the beverages out here, maybe some sandwiches if you're going down the road stopping. Maybe use this as a little prep area too to have that. You got power outside right next to that. You got a leash latch for your best friend, your furry buddy. Maybe your drunken husband's running away. Hook those guys up. Outdoor speakers with um, LED lip behind those and under the awning. So they got the cool blue lights. You got your TV backer right here. So if you wanted to hook up a TV and bring out some entertainment outside under the awning, you have the capability to do that. Like I said, you got your aluminum rims with the big mean off-road tires. They also set you up with these guys. They're kind of like a tire pressure monitor. If you see that it turns red. Um, so if you're going down the road, you're stopping to get gas, packing this thing up, getting ready for the weekend, quick glance down, green means go, red means you, you know, get some air in there. It doesn't tell you what the tire pressure's at, but at least gives you a quick glance knowing that it's something that you need to address before you hit the road. Cable, power, all that stuff outside right here as well for you. Um, up front, you can kind of see it here a little bit, but you got that cool gray wolf, the wolf logo shining down onto the ground for you. And then you also have a gas port 
uh, quick connect for a grill or something like that that'll run off your tank right up front. Friction hinge door on this unit with a tempered glass front door. They've been doing that for a little bit, so that's a cool little look. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab handle. I like how you can get at that where you're on the ground still. You don't have to take a step up, so you can get at the grab handle. Nice solid step stairs to get in and out of there. Really like that. I mean, you can stand on these guys. You're not shaking the whole camper, so we really like that. We'll pop inside. Uh, right as you walk in, again, you have another little wolf pup light. This is a cool little touch if that's something that you guys like. Um, up front, you also have your awning extended, your slides, your tank heaters, uh, water pumps, lights. Check your batteries, your tank levels, all that stuff is going to be right here for you. Also right up front is going to be a nice little kitchen space. So a sink, little two burner, maybe a spot to hold some towels or hot pads or something like that. A little overhead storage here for you. All these lights are going to be push pucks, so you can kind of customize how you want to do that. Under the sink is a spot they're throwing you a little garbage can that's in this storage area. So a nice can that actually fits under there for you. Coming with the deal. Thanks Forest River. Uh, you got your microwave, so this is a convection microwave, so baking and stuff in here since they take away the oven. You still have the capability to, you know, put a smaller pizza, make a cookies, anything like that, right in here. And then again, we'll kind of open this back up. Really good storage right up front. Again, this is a really unique layout, so you have your... Your whole space is wide open, so your bedroom, your dining space, your entertainment space, your refrigerator, everything's all in this one big room. Some of you might really like that, some people might not, but I think it's going to be really neat. You lay down in bed, kick back, have some snacks, turn on the TV, people can hang out here. So kind of pretty versatile, really just a couple's camper. Maybe if you have a couple kids or something, you can pop them here, mom and dad on that one, but you know. Um, Forest River gives you these big, huge pull-out drawers under the dinette. So, really like that. So, tucking all your goods in there, your games, you don't got to take all the cushions off to get at it. Nothing's going to be tucked in the way back that you have to get at. Everything's going to be in this drawer that pulls out, and that's going to be on both sides here for you. Again, all these push puck lights, so if you really want to start cutting, customizing your light in here, you can really do that. So... That's going to be great. Like I said, here's that big slide. 12 volt refrigerator and freezer. So really good space in here. I mean, this thing got plugged in not long ago. The freezer's getting cold already. So with the 12 volts, they're running off the truck going down the road. You start packing up your gear. You get off work on Friday, maybe a little earlier. Plug this guy in, start getting cold, pack that in there. You don't have to plug it in on a Tuesday, start getting the fridge cold. So we really like that about the new 12 volt fridges. Also notice the million storage bins that they give you. What is it, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 storage bins. So really be able to stuck, you know, put a ton of stuff up here. Also probably cuts down on a lot of weight. Um, really another nice thing too is depending on what you got going on in them, I can just grab this bin, take it outside. Bring it back. I don't have to take stuff out of the drawer to carry it out. I can just grab the whole bin, take it to where I want to go, put it all back in, bring it back, and slide it back into here. There is a little lip that holds them all in place for you for when you're going down the road. These ones on the bottom don't have the lip, so kind of keep that in mind. But maybe when the slide comes in, they'll stay there. But these top ones do have a lip. So that's pretty neat. A ton of space up top here. You got USB, you got plugins on this side, you got USB and plugins over here. You got this really nice window that opens up. So putting your devices and stuff up here. Uh, you got your fuse box, battery disconnect, all the good stuff right down here, which is going to be accessible when the slide is in. Overhead storage as well. These are all just closed by magnets, so don't have to worry about anything 
breaking or latches getting ruined. Um, sometimes they have those little teeth latch that kind of get messed up. So just having the magnet, I think that's pretty neat. Uh, they give you a little swing arm uh, TV. Let's see how we do this one. Well, you can swing your, you can swing it out. When you get a TV on here, you can swing it out, move some stuff, move it around. So if you're at the dining table, you can turn your TV, have it checked out there. You got one big AC unit in this rig. Um, it isn't ducted, uh, which is kind of nice because then you don't have to worry about those air ducts getting cool air in them or if the heat's beating down, you don't get any condensation in there. And having it all in this one big space like this, you're not gonna have to worry about having hot or cold spots. It'll cool this whole area down. Just think of this as like a nice window unit in your bedroom at home or something like that. On the back here, you can see the two windows. Those are closed. You got USB, you got power back over there for all that stuff, which is gonna be awesome. Little subwoofer up in here. So if you guys add a little bass to your music, um, there is two indoor speakers as well. So having a nice kind of surround system in here, gonna be really cool. Moving into the bathroom. It's a little smaller bathroom, but gets the job done. This is where you're gonna have, you have a little fan, nice little corner sink, spot under the sink for storage, little cubby under here for storage. And then you do have some more kind of like wardrobe storage with that bar in there to put some hanging clothes, corner medicine cabinet, you can tuck a lot of stuff into there, foot flush toilet, just a plastic toilet in here. Uh, step up into a little shower. So if you had little pets or little kids, it's almost like a sh shallow tub. Um, so if you want to kind of stick them in there, get clean, you do have the shower head you can get down there. Has a little fan, you know, another, again, push puck lights in the bathroom so you can kind of really customize that. And then this is where you're going to find your hot water heater as well. So, um... Under the bed, we got some storage under the bed then as well. So pop that up, good storage here. Then like I said, you can have, you can see the outside so you can store some of the stuff under there and get some stuff from in here. So, um, so this is it, brand new layout from Forest River. We're excited to have it. Uh, again, my name is Kyle Dimon. I'm here at Bullion RV in Duluth, Minnesota. Give me a call, shoot me a text. Let me know how I can help you out. Like, subscribe to our videos. That really helps us out. It's just a quick thing to do while you're watching the videos. Um, so give me a call at 218-740-4964. Again, you can shoot me a text at that number as well. Um, and if you're an emailer, Charlie will hook us up with the email at the bottom too. So again, we really appreciate you watching and we'll see you on the next one.